Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based um, <laughs> research channel. Um, and basically it's here to show you how to start doing this research yourself. Um, if you're interested enough, um, then check out the other videos. It will all make sense. I'm not going to be doing any live research on this. Uh, I think we're uh, part three of um, a cropped area of uh, this image here. This photograph rather. Here's some information about it. Somebody I was looking at, they were talking about a lot of um, sand dunes um, everywhere. And um, it reminds me of another, um, an orbiter image, which I was looking at. And basically there's hundreds of square kilometers of sand dunes. And um, basically they're not sand dunes. Um, which is st now starting to make a lot of sense to me. Um, sand dunes all over Mars, um, and they're not real. And um, I'll show you what I mean in a moment. Okay, so just a quick recap. Excuse the computer, it's running a bit slow. Um, but this is the actual photograph, and we are looking at a small crop in this area um, and earlier on I had another look at this uh, image and uh, there is stuff everywhere um, we spoke about the scaling on this <clears throat> this is 50 meters away this is five meters away um, and just some other things as well. I think it was in the first one we did um, shadows and stuff. And I'm presuming over here is where the sun is. And so check the shadow here. And then we checked all the other shadows. So, um, and over here, they were different to here. And obviously here. Okay, right, so let's get into the image. This is the image, the part of the image we looked at um, in part two. And this is where we're going to be looking at today. So, let's... Have a look. Right, so this is the actual photograph and this is um, the enhancement so far um, and this is honestly taking a very long time to do so let's start having a closer look um, what I'll do, I'll just ring stuff and then we'll do some various zoom percentages and um, you can pause it. Like I say, if you're new to this, uh, you're going to need to pause and just view the stuff. Um, try and take it in, basically. Whoa. Okay. So looking at this area here talking about this stuff um, done a few of these but I've done dozens of them um, which I will eventually show you and um, trying to work out this stuff is it's it's about labeling things you know um, and, and I keep speaking about this um, and I'm not sure if it was on the last video but I um, um, mention you know how you you're battling with your brain um, it's trying to give you um, a comparison to something you know how you know so we can relate it to something and um, I'm a bit past that now because this stuff we're looking at um, 
as much as we can give it any labeling is um, mechanical it looks mechanical it looks manufactured um, and we were talking about the uh, the actual terrain itself so if this stuff is so apparent um, in the enhancements that I do then this is all bull crap basically and we looked at um, you know the the lines, the ridge lines and the inconsistencies with um, the shadows and what they're being cast from. It's just as if they don't have any backs to the forms that the, the shadows are being cast from. Um, look back on the videos and it, I'll be able to explain it a bit more. Um, I've literally just dived into this one. So just check this stuff out and you'll see the difference in the areas which I have enhanced more than other areas so like I say pause and just uh, check this stuff out And like I, like I was talking about, it's you're probably going to see lots of stuff. This is just your brain trying to make sense out of uh, something. I can't put my finger on it. I don't expect to put my finger on it. I believe it's something um, we're just not aware of yet. It's something uh, out there. And this is what the surface is actually like. It's covered in this mechanical looking manufactured um, formation structure. So I don't, I don't really know how to, uh, to put a word to it. Um, I'll keep doing this as well. Uh, this line is just so I know where we did to last time. Like I say, just have a, have a good look at it. And I'll, um, Zoom in and look at some various bits and bobs. So you can see the color change here. Um, and the colors aren't real as far as I'm concerned and I show there's something I mentioned about the ridge lines and stuff and um, which I mentioned in the last one which um, it just is a bit boggling to be honest but we will get there shortly Oh yes, any other research channels watching this and uh, if you have learned something or um, you're now realising what you've been missing then um, give us a shout out. 
give us the credit. Let's stick together. You know, research moves forward. And uh, I'm not here to undermine anyone, anything like that. I just think um, this whole community um, needs to open up a little bit more and uh, get more numbers. No one's going to lose any subs. It's not going to work like that. It's going to generate more interest in this subject. You know who you are. <laughs> but the longer you study this, the the weirder it looks. I'm not going to point out any faces or planes or fridges or whatever you whatever you fancy. Because um, I generally don't don't see them. This is just this is just the way my brain works now. But I'm seeing stuff I can't put my finger on. I don't know what it is. It's something we do, we we just don't know about yet. Now the word, there's a word I use a lot, um, and that word is connected. And regardless as if we're looking at um, photographs taken orbiters or this landscape stuff, everything seems to have a, uh, a direction, a purpose, it all purpose rather, uh, it all seems to be connected for some reason. I won't tell you what I'm doing, but I'm actually looking, I'm researching a different, different field, um, and this connected word seems to be raising its head as well. I won't tell you what it is um, because I've only just started but um, I'm making some weird comparisons and uh, it's a bit mind-boggling. see the where it's not so much enhanced but more enhanced Ooh. I think this is in this image as well, it's made up of um, stripes and we had these little uh, lines. I think you have to look to look at the other one um, to find out what I was uh, talking about. You can't you can't really see it at this. No, you can't see it. I think it was in this one anyway. Um, Forget that, just look at the other ones, it'll be easier.
So going back to, I mean, if this is the actual surface, and obviously this is the cover-up, these things you've got to look for as well. I mean, if you're interested in doing this, I mean, you've got to have um, some imaging software so you can blow this up because you won't be able to see it. It'll be pixelated. So that would be your first port of call, uh, which the, the link is on the homepage for GIMP. Um, and enlarge this stuff. So in the light, we were looking at the other ones, so, and they haven't done a very good job of covering this stuff up. Um, if you look at these areas, there are strange things going on. It's just not normal to the descriptions that they give us. Obviously, it's quite skeletal looking. Um, but it is the surface. And this is the cover up. I'm thinking they use their own software, and then a lot of it is uh, then. Um, our words by hand. Look at these. For those of you who are familiar with the stuff that I do, this is this is freakishly looking similar to the a lot of the orbiter stuff that we find, but on a completely different scale. Um I don't understand it. These are the lines running through the image. got another uh, soul um, I think it's curiosity image um, that's what I was talking about and um, the lines we see running through this stuff is really unusual um, but we'll get to that there's no point in talking about it until I show you the, the actual image itself So here, check all the shapes and everything. And the fake sand. I think maybe we looked at some of this stuff in the first one. What is going on here? It's not just a shadow. It... Maybe a bit too heavy enhancement there. Now, let's have a look at the one of the three listed. This is the the 
um, Egyptian head or Sumerian head. That's what it looks like, and that's what it's not, basically. And this is what people are missing. They're just not looking into the images hard enough. But even, even just looking at this, you see these shadows with, there's no, there's no backs to them. They look, it's just completely wrong. They're the same. You could say that it's just something very, very, very thin sticking up, but it does. It's not. It's not working like that. It's difficult to explain. You get used to looking at this stuff, and I'm, so I'm pretty familiar with um, graphics and illustration and stuff, and uh, it's not right. Lines through here. You see it more now, the enhancement started. So regards to what this is now, I have absolutely no idea. it starts getting pretty interesting so we talk about false ridge lines um, rock lines horizons that type of sort of thing now I did show you some of this stuff on the last one um, but we can see the, the directions the connected element of all this And let's just do this. So this looks like a, this is a rock line. Note the sand as well. I'll show you that's, that's the, that was the so-called uh, UFO. Because of its shape, simply because of its shape. So, start taking a look at this stuff. I'm not going to spend too long on this, obviously, but you know, pause and have a view. But check all this really odd stuff. See, you can see it's in the image, but not in the image. How things. So this ridge line is carrying on straight the way through. So, regards to, um, you know, perspective and um, uh, scaling and stuff like that is just completely throws you all this have a closer look at that The quality is low, but I mean, this is what we have to deal with. Things 
like this. Look, you can see the three dimensions of it. You can see the shadow. You can see how it's all connected. It's in there, but it's not in there. Look. Okay, so this is UFO, yep, it looks like one, it's the shape of, um, as I discussed before, all this, this line is, it's very wrong. And it is covering up this stuff, which is all this. I had to go over this multiple, multiple times to pull out any detail. But you can now see where, as we do here, have this stuff. It's adjoined to this thin line. And you can see it's the same as this stuff. Look. Look at that. Little thing sticking up. It's all part of it. This is how far they're going to cover this stuff up. It's everywhere, you can slowly see it coming through here. So confusing. What is it? appearing you can see the tops and bits and bobs of it poking through the fake sand Look. so I can't remember which which video I did but they um, it stated um, that the uh, the photograph that they uh, that is presented to the researchers, and uh, so that would be this photograph. And unless they blow it up to a decent size, so it doesn't pixelate, what are you going to see? How can you be a researcher of? NASA photographs and use what they apparently give you. So they have proper researchers and fake researchers. It's like um, the imaging department. They have the one with the people who haven't got a clue what they're doing and uh, the other people that no one knows about. And I was reading about some guy, um, and he's the head imaging guy at NASA. They're the ones they present on the on the pages and stuff. Um, and he gets thirty five to forty thousand dollars a year for being a NASA image 
specialist. Says it all. That's just ridiculous. Okay. And here we go. You can see the directions of everything. This probably looks like extremely confusing to a lot of you. But you're only going to understand this stuff if you research it yourself. It's the only way to do it. These fake lines. And that's what I mean, how it's been done so badly. Now what is that? That looks like a hole in the sand dune now, doesn't it? But whoever's done this has done it so they think you know you're at a glance going to think it's a, a rock with a shadow in front of it. It's that simple. Look at this stuff. What it is though, what it is, I just do not, I can't. Can't put my finger on it. Like I say, I don't I don't think uh, we're gonna be able to do that. So anyone telling you stuff, um, and I know this for a fact, because I look at everything, well, as much as I possibly can um, in relation to other people doing this sort of research uh, and uh, it makes me not not furious but it makes me sad more than anything because they're just giving you false information uh, don't get me wrong they're looking it in the right places but it's completely wrong because they haven't Enhance research the image hard enough. It's that simple. There you go, look, here's a really bad line. See? They've completely missed. So you've got stuff attached to this going into into nothing. See that? I may do another video on this, um, I'm not sure if, um, if I've actually got the time at the moment to work on the sand, um, and just remember this is a tiny portion of that big image, um, and this stuff is all the way through, all the way through the image. Strange things everywhere. I 
amazing the difference. I mean, obviously, all these colors and everything are incorrect. Let's just have a quick see if this makes any more. This makes any difference to you. I mean, study these images, um, but we have got right angles. We've got what look like tubes running over and under each other, the circles, triangles, rectangles. Uh, it's just take your time, check it out, and uh, don't try and label it. As far as I've got, it looks mechanical, um, manufactured, um, but it covers the whole surface. Um, that's as far as that's as far as I'm going. So, as usual, guys, brilliant. Um, I hope you made sense of this. Um, <laughs> it's a crazy one. Um, just look at this. It's nuts. Absolute nuts. Okay, nice one, guys. Um, I should have something coming up very shortly. Um, I've been working on lots of stuff, um, my own stuff as well, outside this research, uh, which is taking all my time at the moment, but we have to survive. So, um, nice one, and um, I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.